Welcome back to Rue TV, your station for weekly updates on UMKC and the local Kansas City community. My name is Rex Stickney. And I'm Deja McKenzie. Students, previous alumni and university faculty gathered at the Miller Nichols Learning Center on October 15th to cooperate in Rue's Give Back, a day of community service and nonprofit engagement. Participants were assigned to a nonprofit such as Scraps KC and Teach for America. Scraps KC have volunteers organizing donated supplies to give to local schools and churches. Teach for America had writers draft up thank you notes to educators across Kansas City. This event happened annually, so keep an eye out for it next year if you're interested in participating. Missouri teachers leaving the profession is at an all-time high and has been since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Last week, a report published by the U.S. Government Accountability Office stated that negative perceptions of the profession and low wages are contributing to the shortage. In a survey conducted by the GAO, 25% of teachers said they considered quitting in 2022. A Missouri State Commission is proposing raising salaries by teachers by up to $13,000 to bring in new educators to the state. Currently, Missouri holds the second lowest wages for teachers in the country. The GAO is using these reports to make recommendations to the U.S. Department of Education in hopes that the public will hold a better value for their teachers. The Kansas City, Kansas public school system is proposing adding 1,600 cameras to their classrooms. The school district wants to put $6.8 million worth of cameras into classrooms, intending to record lessons for students who are away from school. Cameras are already in the hallways and common spaces in KCK schools, but this decision will expand that to every classroom. Last Tuesday, the Board of Educators held a discussion where parents and teachers could share their opinions over the proposal. Six community speakers at the meeting voiced a shared concern that the proposal made them feel untrustworthy and undervalued. The board has agreed to vote to hold more meetings on this debate on November 3rd. Kansas City, Missouri had two suspicious deaths over the weekend. Police were called to Blue Valley Park where a passerby found a dead body near the edge of a pond. Due to the outdoor location of the body, detectives had to bring in crime scene investigators to the park. No cause of death has been released at this time. The other incident occurred at 10 a.m. on Sunday when a resident noticed their dog digging in their backyard. When they checked on their dog, they found it digging up human skeletal remains. Crime scene investigators were again called to the scene, and police are uncertain as to how long the remains have been buried. Now we'll throw it over to Josh and Afnin for this week's Roundup of Entertainment. Welcome back to Sports and Arts and Entertainment. Jackson can't be here today, so I'll be ho holding the fort down for him. First, I'm going to start with girls basketball. They had an exhibition on Sunday, and guys, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little scared about the season. Um, I had a lot of faith going in. Uh, we were supposed to destroy Pitt State. They're a D2 school, you know. I mean, they shouldn't even be in competition with us, but they won. Um, 77 to 71. So I know you guys are probably like, well, the score doesn't look too bad, but guys, oh, it was, it was not good. Our shooting percentage was like probably 30%, like, which is not good. But we shot two times as many shots as them just to have 71 points. I mean... It was just atrocious, and we played terrible defense. Like, our defense, we couldn't hold anything. We would try to press. they just run past the press, get open layups. If we tried to, you know, play man-to-man, -man, they get wide-open threes out on the three-point line. So it was just, just wasn't good. I mean, but, you know, there were some okay things about the team. There, I would say there is a light at the tunnel. One is that I just don't think they were able to get in the groove because the refs were awful. They were calling all types of fouls. Things that I don't even think were fouls. Guys, you have to realize this is my favorite sport. I love basketball. So I know the sport. These were not fouls. These refs were just being crazy. Like, it felt like I was in middle school, like how bad these calls were. But, you know, the terrible refs, I don't think they let them get in the flow. But also, we have a player, Sinai. She scored 20. She did amazing. She really just kept us in the game. She can get at the rim at will. She can finish tough layups. And she really just, she just really has it all. I mean, she did great. And I think the third upside really is that it was more our shots weren't falling. I think once we get our shots falling, we'll be amazing. I mean, we just couldn't get them. We were getting wide open looks, but they just weren't falling. So I'm hoping that we can get the shots falling and that that will help our next game. 
We have another exhibition game, but it's a men's team on Wednesday, so please come and watch. Anyways, now to the arts and entertainment side. Guys, I know you're used to my usual music takes and my hate on Taylor Swift or my hate on Kanye. We're switching that, okay? We're about to talk about a TV show on Netflix, and it's called The Mole. Guys, I'm only five episodes in. I'm hooked. I love it. It's so good. I'm going to explain the premise of the show, and you guys, you guys tell me if you watch it. I mean, you guys come up to me out in the hall if you want to and talk to me about it because I love it, okay? Now, this, the premise of the show is basically there's a group of people, and they're there to win money. I mean, there's this prize pot, and they have to do all these competitions, and the better they do on the competitions, the more money they win. You know, it seems pretty simple. seems like your average reality TV show. But the problem is that there's a mole. And what I mean by a mole is that they are there just to sabotage the mention. They seem like they're friendly. They seem like they're nice. But they're not. They're just trying to make you lose as many money, as much money as you can. And let me tell you guys, um, where I'm at in the show, whoever the mole is, they're definitely winning. I mean, I haven't finished the show, so I don't know who it is, but they are winning. The prize pot is not looking great right now. But um, it's not only that the mole is trying to make them lose money. It's also that players are getting eliminated as it goes on. Every episode, they take a test at the end, and it's like 20 questions about the mole which obviously it's hard to do because no one knows who the mole is. So they're just guessing on these 20 questions on who they might suspect. But if they suspect someone wrong, you know, basically they're out. So whoever does worst on the quiz, who does the, the worst, is out. And the mole always is going to get it right because, you know, they know they're the mole. So it's very intriguing. You know, people are already getting upset. I mean, they're acting cool, but you can tell in the interviews that they are just not having a good time. And they've thrown some shots in person in front of people. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy. My favorite person is already gone, and I'm really upset about it, you know, but it's whatever. So if you guys want a new show to watch, go on Netflix, look up The Mole. It's amazing. And follow me on Instagram at mr.cunning123 to hear my opinions on music, also movies, and TV shows. And come back next week to hear what I have to say. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Rue TV. Be sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe for more UMKC and Kansas City community news. And check out our Instagram at Rue TV UMKC. See you next week. No mistakes, I told no you. No mistakes.